Okay, the next thing you want to do is set up the Air Spool app for your Android device using Google Play Store or the App Store for your iPhone. And you're going to download the app. You're going to have to come up with a user ID and password, all that type of stuff. And I have a few devices on here, but eventually you're going to get to a point where you see this plus sign and you're going to be able to add a device, okay? But before you do that, you have to do a little trick, and that is you need to hit the light button eight times on your device, on your remote. And you hear that steady beep. That means that it's ready to pair. So hit plus, hit add device. Hit discover devices. And it might take a minute, but this is already kind of pre-populated. Hit solar AC. So I'm hitting the plus sign. I'm about to look away because it's about to be to the screen where I'm going to need my username and password. And I'm going to hide that password because it's pre-filled. Okay, that took a minute. Anyway, hit next. It's being added. It takes us. So this is when the actual pairing is going down. So you see it spinning around. Okay, and so that's it. It took take maybe 15 seconds in that case. It all depends on how solid your connection is. But now you can if you use your right hand apparently. Oh, sorry, hit done. So now it's adding that device so as of right now, it's just called Solar AC. I can rename it. That's what I was trying to do in the other scene. All right, you can name it, put your location, et cetera, et cetera, create an icon. And from that point, you see it's already set up to showing that it's using 579 watts. Not using much because it's already cool in here because we're inside, obviously, for this test setup. But, you know, depending on where you are in the country, it could use anywhere from that amount of power up to 1,100 or something for a one-ton unit. Eventually, you're going to be able to see your savings right here. And so this is set to Celsius right now. You can change that, too, if you're a good American. And it shows the current room temperature and the setting. So I'll change that to Fahrenheit. And it's on cool mode. And you can change the fan speed. And then the other cool thing is you'll be able to see right now these orange bars, they're showing alternating current use because on the right hand side there, AC input, that's all we're using right now. But if you hook up solar panels and you got a sunny day, most of that will always be green. So that will, that's what this is all about, folks, saving with solar energy, saving money and saving the world. Thanks.